Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on mesenteric adenitis. Mesenteric adenitis is the inflammation of mesenteric lymph nodes, often due to a viral or bacterial infection. It mimics acute appendicitis, leading to diagnostic uncertainty, and is common in children and adolescents. For its etiology, viral infections are the most common, caused by adenovirus, Epstein-Barr virus, cytomegalovirus, and influenza. Bacterial infections. Yersinia enterocolitica is the most common bacterial cause and other bacteria like Streptococcus, Salmonella, and Campylobacter. Other triggers include post-vaccination, inflammatory bowel disease, and tuberculosis. Pathophysiology. Infection triggers lymphoid hyperplasia in the mesentery. Inflamed lymph nodes cause right lower quadrant pain, mimicking appendicitis. It is often self-limiting, but severe cases may require treatment. Clinical features. Symptoms include abdominal pain, which is diffuse or localized to right lower quadrant milder than appendicitis and does not progress to peritonitis. Associated symptoms are fever, malaise, nausea, and vomiting. Recent viral illness. Signs include mild RLQ tenderness without peritoneal signs. No rebound tenderness, unlike appendicitis. And a normal or slightly elevated WBC count. Investigations. Blood tests. Mild leukocytosis or normal WBC. CRP may be mildly elevated. Ultrasound abdomen is the first-line investigation showing enlarged mesenteric lymph nodes. A normal appendix helps rule out appendicitis. CT scan if needed for confirmation, shows multiple RLQ lymph nodes, no appendiceal inflammation. Differential diagnosis include, acute appendicitis which is the main mimic, viral gastroenteritis, inflammatory bowel disease, ovarian pathology like torsion PR cyst rupture in females, and intussusception especially in younger children. For management, Conservative management in most cases. Supportive care like hydration and analgesia. Paracetamol or NSAIDs for pain relief. Monitor symptoms, usually spontaneous resolution in one to two weeks. Antibiotics if bacterial infection suspected. For Yersinia enterocolitica, treat with ciprofloxacin or TMPSMX. Consider antibiotics if fever more than 38.5 degrees or prolonged symptoms. Indications to admit the patient. Severe abdominal pain or uncertain diagnosis. Signs of sepsis or peritonitis, suggesting another cause. Inability to tolerate oral intake. Key takeaways for this presentation. Mesenteric adenitis is a common mimic of appendicitis, especially in children. Diagnosis relies on ultrasound showing enlarged lymph nodes with a normal appendix. It is mostly self-limiting, antibiotics are only needed if bacterial infection is suspected. That's all for this video. Thank you.